There are several styles of travel backpack out there, lightweight minimalist packs and heavy duty bomb proof packs. If you're in the bomb proof camp, then you're gonna love the updated Chrome Machetto 2.0. This thing is made from a 1680 denier nylon on the sides and the back of the bag, which is one of the sturdiest materials you can use for a travel backpack. And one of the changes to the 2.0 version was they upgraded this fabric on the front of the pack to this 420 denier TPE coating, which gives the bag a sleek, shiny look while greatly increasing the water resistance on the front of the pack. To stick with the bomb-proof theme of chrome packs, they use name brand large zippers and hardware throughout the machete. The zipper on the main compartment is a large number 10 YKK, and then the other ones on the exterior zippers and laptop compartments are number fives and number eights. The buckles are all large plastic Duraflex. These side compression strap buckles are huge and really solid. And then the sternum strap buckle hardware is also a solid Duraflex, and the shoulder strap uses this sturdy custom metal adjuster. None of these zippers are lockable, but you can use a little carabiner clip to lock the zipper poles together. These zippers on the main compartment are close enough together to the zipper on the laptop compartment that you can lock them all together with one S clip. It's not gonna be as secure as a locking zipper, but it does make these pockets harder to access. Two of these zippers are this waterproof YKK AquaGuard on this top slash pocket, and then down here on this laptop compartment, which is gonna greatly increase the water resistance on these two pockets. However, it's worth noting that this is not a waterproof backpack. Unlike some of Chrome's messenger packs like the Barrage, the Machetto doesn't have any waterproofing outside of this TPE coated front and these two zippers. The 1680 denier fabric is relatively water resistant to begin with, but that's due more to the thick basket weave and not to any waterproof coating. The Machetto 2.0 is noticeably less boxy than the previous version. They decreased the width and the depth by a little bit and increased the length by about three inches. So this thing looks a lot more like a rectangle now than the previous version. Unexpanded, it measures about 21 inches by 14 inches by about nine and a half inches deep. With this expansion zipper that adds an extra two and a half inches to the depth. Chrome lists the capacity on the Machetto at 52 liters on their website, which seems a little bit large to me. You might be able to get 52 liters in this pack when it's fully expanded, but unexpanded, it's much smaller, and probably closer to 40 liters. Now looking at the external components on the Chrome Machetto 2.0. This thing has stowable backpack straps, beefy compression straps, an external laptop compartment, two top access slash pockets, an expandable zipper. And it's worth noting that this thing doesn't have any kind of external water bottle pocket. The compression straps are a one and a half inch thick seatbelt webbing material connected with these huge plastic buckles. They don't go across the top of the bag like in the old version, but they still offer a ton of compression. And one thing I like about the design on these is that you only have to unclip these front two to access your pack. And these back two aren't blocking any of the zippers, so you can just leave them clipped. The laptop compartment is located in the back of the bag between the backpack straps and the main compartment in this top access zipper pocket. It's nothing fancy, it's just a large pocket with a waterproof zipper and good padding. This pocket holds up to a 15 inch laptop and it easily holds my 15 inch Dell Inspiron. And the false bottom on this thing is huge. It stops your laptop a good five inches from the bottom of the bag. So you can smash this thing in the ground and not have to worry about it damaging your laptop. The exterior pockets are pretty simple. There's only two top access slash pockets and there's no larger kind of document sized organizational compartment. This front pocket takes up the volume between these two seams and it goes down to right about here. There's a thin liner in here and there's no further interior organization or pockets. This other slash pocket is a side zip hidden behind this little storm flap here. It goes from about here down to the seam and it actually overlaps most of the way with this top slash pocket. And also like this one, there are no further interior pockets in here and just this little key leash with a metal D-ring. Now let's look at the carry options on the Chrome Machetto 2.0. It has these stowable backpack straps and then a side and top carry handles. The shoulder straps are wide and moderately padded with a breathable air mesh backing. They're noticeably more curved in this 2.0 version, which I think adds a lot to the comfort. And then there are no top load adjusters on here, but I don't think this pack really needs them. 
Also in the update, they added this thick seatbelt webbing that runs the entire length of the strap and is sewn in down here in the bottom. This doesn't add a lot in terms of comfort, but this strap is now so solid that I don't think you could rip it off the bag if you tried. Another update on the 2.0 version is the stowability of these backpack straps. On the old version, you would unclip them from the bottom here and tuck them into a top access pocket. In the update, they got rid of this bottom buckle here and the straps are now sewn directly into the pack. And now instead of a top pocket, there are these Velcro flaps on each side and you just unhook the flap and then tuck the strap in behind it. I think this system is a lot easier to use and it greatly increases the strengths of the strap because they're directly sewn into the pack now and not reliant on that plastic buckle to support your strap. And now with these straps stowed away, we can see the back paneling of the bag. There's actually a decent layer of padding back here. There's about a quarter inch piece of foam behind the laptop compartment, but this bag is still pretty soft, so it's largely gonna mold to fit your back. And there's also almost no air ventilation, which can make this bag a little hot. Other than this foam panel, the Machetto doesn't have much structure. There's no firm internal frame sheet or wire frame. Instead, it relies a lot on the thickness of the 1680D material and there's two foam pads on the front and the back and then the extra seatbelt webbing material that runs around the length of the bag. And then considering there's no further interior structure, the Machetto is fairly stiff and actually holds its shape pretty well. These side webbing straps are part of the carry handles that run almost around the entire perimeter of the pack. The handles are quite thin. This webbing is sewn together with no additional padding inside, but there are two of them, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. They're good for opening the pack and unloading the bag, but this is probably not gonna be the main way that you carry the bag around. This is what the bag looks like on me unexpanded. I have a full set of travel gear here, including my laptop. I pre-weighed it. It's about 8.5 kilograms or 18.8 pounds. The shoulder straps are wide and they sit well on my shoulders and the bag also sits well on my back and I don't think it really needs top load adjusters. I like all the sturdy hardware. It's really easy to adjust their sternum strap and the backpack straps and they have these little elastic keepers that do a good job of keeping all these straps from dangling. However, this thing is kind of right at the point where I almost need a hip belt for this thing. If I were to put a little bit more weight in here or expand this thing out, then I would definitely want a hip belt. This is what the pack looks like on me, fully expanded. I added some more gear and weighed it. It's about 10 kilograms now or about 22 pounds. And the amount of gear that you can fit in a 52 liter pack is gonna make this thing a little bit too heavy than what these backpack straps are designed for. And at this much weight and with the bag kind of hanging this far over from your back, it definitely would help to have a hip belt here. I wouldn't recommend packing this thing out in the expanded mode. When you're traveling, just pack it unexpanded and save this extra space in case you need it. The Machetto 2.0 has one of my favorite interior organizational styles. It's a side opening clamshell suitcase style with these two interior organizational compartments. I really like this packing style because it helps you stay organized and your gear won't slosh around inside your pack but because there's no large exterior pocket, you're gonna to have to store most of your gear in one of these compartments. The two sides of this pack are about the same size in the unexpanded mode. This side over here, I was able to fit almost all of my clothes in two of these 14 by 10 by about four inch packing cubes, and they fit almost perfectly in this side of the bag. And if you can, you wanna pack your lighter gear clothes and such in this mesh zippered side. This is gonna be the part that's farther away from your back. And this other side that's closer to your back, you're gonna to wanna to pack your heavier gear, toiletries, electronics, etc. In summary, the Chrome Machetto is a solid travel backpack made from some of the sturdiest materials you can get. I'm pretty sure that you can drag this thing behind a horse and it wouldn't fall apart. The laptop compartment is solid and well padded with a great false bottom. I like the sleek exterior on this pack and it has one of my favorite clamshell suitcase style interior organization with these two large mesh covered compartments. My main critiques on this bag are the size and the expanded mode. The backpack straps on this thing aren't big enough to support 52 liters of gear and at that size, it's gonna be way too big to use as a carry-on. The backpack straps are sufficient and comfortable when it's in the unexpanded mode. I don't think that this pack needs load lifters, and I really don't mind that the bag doesn't have a frame sheet. 
However, I do think that a softer foam mesh with some air ventilation on the back here would make it more comfortable. And also, they should consider adding a hip belt option when they release the Machetto 3.0. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about the Chrome Machetto 2.0, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. And again, if you like videos like this, bag comparisons, bag reviews, then please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.